Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today on What's for Dinner Wednesday, I'm going to teach you guys how to make Puerto Rican arroz con salchichas, which is yellow rice with Vienna sausages. Puerto Rican cooking is very simple and cheap, so for this recipe you will just need a few basic ingredients that are going to give you a great, tasty meal. Two cups of long grain rice, three cups of water, three cans of Vienna sausages, sazón goya, adobo goya, oil of your choice, and garlic powder or sofrito if you have some on hand. I did want to mention that I measure my rice in this mug rather than using a measuring cup. So I do two mugfuls of rice and three mugfuls of water. You just want to use a ratio of one more of water than rice. To start off, you want to go ahead and drain your Vienna sausages and get them all onto a cutting board. And you want to just slice them into little pieces. This doesn't have to be accurate. You just want to have small bite-sized pieces to put in your rice. Once you have your Vienna sausages cut, you want to go ahead and put about two to three tablespoons of oil in your pot, turn it on to high, and you kind of want to saute up the Vienna sausages just to crisp up the skin just a little bit. It just kind of keeps the flavor inside the sausages. At this point, I would also add in my sofrito if I had some. This day I was out, so I just used a little bit of garlic powder just to add some flavor, mix that in, and let the sausages fry for about one more minute. Now we're going to keep the heat on high and we're going to go ahead and add in all of our water. We're also going to add in one packet of Sazon Goya. You can also find other types of Sazon in different brands. This is just the brand I prefer. And this is going to give the rice the yellow color. We're also going to add in the adobo. I don't measure, but I would say I use about two tablespoons of adobo. You want to use it to taste, so you're going to give the water a stir and you're going to taste it. And you want the water to be just a little bit salty, just so the rice can soak up that flavor. Once your water mixture is good, you're going to set it there on high until it reaches a boil. Now that my water mixture is boiling, I will lower the heat to medium high, add in the rice, and give it a good stir. I'm going to continue to let this water mixture boil until most of the water has evaporated out of the pot. One thing I do that I don't think is necessary but just gives me peace of mind is when it reaches a rolling boil, I like to give it a little stir so that I know that the rice is not sticking to the bottom. Now that the liquid has mostly evaporated, I'm going to go ahead and take my scoop, mix the sadchichas or Vienna sausages into the rice very well, and then scoop all the rice into a mound in the middle. You will then go ahead and cover your pot and turn the heat down to low. You're going to let this cook until the rice is tender and ready to eat. My rice took about 12 minutes to completely cook and here it is all done and tender and ready to eat. Here is our finished meal. I like to serve this rice with some cooked red kidney beans and some tostones. If you're interested in seeing a recipe video for tostones, let me know in the comments section down below. If you try this recipe out, definitely let me know how it turns out. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching guys, bye my top 10 tips for time management.